Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're gonna compare Zoho CRM and Zoho Begin. These are two CRM apps made by Zoho, so it could be confusing to decide which one is best for your business. We're going to go over three different categories, and at the end, I will give you my personal recommendation. All right, let's get started. First, let's compare the user interface, navigability, and administration. Zoho Begin has a really modern user interface that is compared to other CRMs like HubSpot and Pipedrive. By default, you will start on the deals module, but the menu on the left will help you open the rest of the modules. The search bar is always visible and very interactive. Notifications and signals are up here on the right. The actions that the buttons perform are clear and they are well positioned. The records have a modern look, displaying relevant information on the right and related information on the center, like timeline, notes, and activities. The settings menu is simple and well organized, making it easy to find what you're looking for. On the other hand, Zoho CRM doesn't look as modern as Begin. There are a lot of other modules available besides the basics. You also have a home screen that you can customize or use the classic view. The search bar is hidden behind this magnifier icon and when you start typing, the results start showing up. The deals module looks very similar to the one in Begin and it is customizable as well. The record page has a lot of more information than Begin and it is super customizable, allowing you to show or hide sections, modify the fields layout, add modules, and more. You can also see the timeline. When you open the settings for the first time, you might feel a little lost. There are so many options here. You can always use the search bar to find what you're looking for, but if you're not sure what you're searching for, sometimes it is difficult to navigate. I think Soho Begin has a nicer interface, and in general, the elements, records, and settings are better organized. But keep in mind that Soho CRM has a lot of modules, record types, and features, so it is more complex to keep everything organized. Now let's go over the top features of each app. Zoho CRM has a ton of good features that are really helpful, but you will need the time to set them up. You can customize the layouts and fields, as well as having different layouts that can be assigned to different roles. Canvas is a new feature that lets you design and customize what the modules look like. The automations and workflows are advanced, allowing you to send emails, update fields, create tasks, create records, trigger webhooks, and trigger custom functions, which expands your possibilities. You can also set up blueprints to make sure your sales rep follow the sales process, also create approval processes, set up assignment rules, marketing attributions, and run schedules. There's even a sandbox so you can test your changes before deploying them to your live CRM. It is also worth mentioning that Zoho CRM has a leads module that is helpful to keep leads there until they are ready to be converted into contacts. Zoho Begin's features are not really advanced, but all the basics are covered. You can add custom fields to your layout, but you don't have the option to create custom modules. Workflows are also available, but only allowing you to send emails, create tasks, and update fields. Another feature available is web forms that you can use to create a form to input data directly in the CRM. You can also set up multiple currencies. These last two features are also available in Soho CRM. I think Soho CRM is way superior in this category, given the amount of features that are available that will let you customize your sales process. Begin has the basics covered, but there are other CRMs like HubSpot or Pipedrive that have more features than Begin. Before we move on to the last category, if you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button. It helps the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. The last category we're going to compare is integrations. The CRM is the core of your business, so it is really important that it works with other apps that you might be using. Zoho Begin integrates with Google and Office 365, as well as other Zoho apps like Books, Campaigns, and Desk. Another integration available is Zapier that helps with connecting Begin with other apps that don't have a native integration yet. Zoho Flow does the same as Zapier, so if you're using Zoho One, Zoho Flow is included. And the API is also available if you want to build your own integration. Zoho CRM has a marketplace where all the integrations and extensions are. There are way more integrations available for this CRM because it is older and also one of the most used Zoho apps. You can sync your Google or Microsoft email, calendar, and contacts, as well as connect it with other Zoho apps like Zoho Projects, Survey, Desk, Analytics, Webinar, Sign, Campaigns, and Contracts. And Zapier and Zoho Flow are also available for Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM and Zoho Begin also integrate with most of the voice over IP phone systems like RingCentral. 
So Soho CRM is definitely better in this category because of the amount of integrations you can find, as well as the options to install extensions that bring extra functionality to the system. I wanted to briefly mention pricing as well, in case you don't have a Zoho One account and are looking to sign up for only one of these apps. If you would like to get all the features I mentioned about Zoho CRM, you will have to pay $40 per user per month. The full version of Zoho Begin costs $12 per user per month, so that's less than one third of the Zoho CRM cost. If you're on a budget, maybe Begin is the one to go for. But Soho CRM has other plans that are more affordable, including a free version for up to three users. Something to keep in mind is that both apps are included in the Zoho One Suite that also comes with other 40 apps to run your business, and it only costs $35 per user per month. I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you want to check out Zoho One. So I recommend using Soho Begin if you just started your business or maybe if you have never used a CRM before and don't have much time to set up features and customizations. Also, it is more affordable, which makes it more budget friendly. You should set up Soho CRM if you're already familiar with a CRM and maybe you're looking for a more advanced system that can handle automations and integrations and gives you more control over what the users can do. Also, if your company has several people involved in the sales process and maybe different departments get information from the CRM, Soho CRM is the best option. Just keep in mind that you will need time and practice to set up all the features available. All right, guys, that's it for this video. In the description right below the like button, I'm going to leave a website that compares all the features of Zoho Begin and Zoho CRM side by side in case you're looking for a specific feature that I didn't mention in this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.